You might think we've covered an awful lot of what makes Twitter tick at this point, but you're still missing out on something pretty important. The social aspect. So far we've only discussed creating content and putting things out there. But of course Twitter isn't just about output, it's about input too. This is a communication tool and a social network. In other words, you need to think about responding to comments as much as you think about creating posts from scratch. Better yet, you need to think about how you can encourage engagement and interaction. This will make a big difference to the way people see your brand and it will greatly improve your chances of getting shared and retweeted. What's more, by leveraging this social engagement correctly, you can see sudden growth. This is where the growth hacking aspect comes in, so why don't we start with that. If you're new to Twitter and you post a tweet to your audience, then you may get it seen by, say, a hundred people, maybe a thousand. And this is pretty good. If your post gets retweeted by one of those 1,000 people and they are an average user, then it may get seen by 100 to 300 more people on top of your original 1,000. This is also pretty good. Better yet, if someone enjoys that tweet, they might start following you. Thus, you've got a new follower. But imagine if your post were retweeted by someone like Bill Gates. Suddenly, that message would be seen by millions of users. He currently has 24.6 million followers. Thousands of which would probably retweet it to their thousands of followers. Some of Bill Gates' own followers would probably have millions of followers in their own right, so this effect would be repeated potentially many times over. You would get hundreds of thousands of new followers this way and would increase your influence drastically overnight. That's a growth hack because you've gone to a million followers overnight instead of taking it the usual several years. This particular growth hack is using a technique called influencer marketing where you're relying on the influence of someone already established on Twitter to give you that boost and that head start. Now, influencer marketing will always involve an element of luck and you can never guarantee that it's going to work. Still though, it's well worth a try and by targeting influence with content tailored for their appreciation and even sometimes mentioning them in comments, you can potentially see amazing results. Oh, and a tip, don't go after Bill Gates right away. Instead, aim to start with smaller influencers such as prominent members of your niche or your industry. Look for someone with about a thousand followers and then someone with a hundred thousand followers and build your way up to the top. You can also get great success from mentioning other businesses and having them mention you. That way you can quickly share your followers with one another. This can even work with direct competitors but you're more likely to be successful with business partners and companies that provide supplementary services to your own. If you build websites, then looking for an SEO company and promoting each other is a good strategy. Again though, aim for people who are on a similar level to you to begin with. Here's a quick tip for any kind of influencer marketing. Real world strategies always work best. Too often people find the email address or the Twitter account of an influencer and think, great, a connection. In reality though, that person is not a connection. A connection is someone who actually feels that they know you, at least a little, and who is willing to help you out. You can accomplish this in two minutes if you meet someone in person, whereas it takes a lot longer to get to that level via emails. This is why networking events and trade shows are so valuable. Find the influencers, introduce yourself, and have a human chat. Do not try to get anything from them. Then, a few weeks later, post something related to what you spoke about or perhaps that you think they'll find interesting and then tag them. Don't force the issue, but your chances of a retweet just went up significantly. You can also use your real-world networking skills to get regular followers on board. If you run a retail store and someone visits, you can tweet a photo of them with you or you can message them to say thanks. People love this as it feels a little like being famous and if you're lucky they may retweet that message to their followers. This is particularly useful for local businesses. If they're a local customer then chances are their connections also live locally. 
In the next video, I'll talk about some more ways you can engage with your audience.